Okay. When you have a situation like that, you disconnect your oil switch from your oil sensor. The oil switch comes directly from the crankcase that tells the generator there is no longer oil and that gives an information back to the sensor and eventually the gen goes off. The gen acts on its own. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting time on this channel, Benko is Technical Studies. If you are watching this video for the first time, and this channel for the first time, please do well to subscribe. If you subscribe already, kudos. Do well to turn on the notification bell as well as share this video with friends and family. Also drop your comments via the comment section so we can interact. Alright, on today's class we'll be looking at this generator. LMS generator SHD2900DX series um, powered by Honda made in Japan okay that means it's a Japanese engine you get all right on today's class we we're looking at something very technical when I mean technical it's just not the it's not just um, repair fix repair fix kind of video or kind of a uh, teaching is going to be a teaching that uh, goes beyond that a little okay over time some persons have complained to me that um we've had a gen we have our generators when we put it on it just goes off it goes off even if there's oil and what that means is the okay we are talking about when the plug is okay other uh, uh parts of the engine are very very okay but this going off every time now and then let's say three minutes four five minutes after the gen is on has to do with the oil and the oil switch and what have you if you are conversant with generators you should know vividly what i'm talking about okay so on today's class we will be talking about the oil sensor and the oil switch okay okay for generators when they are in usage when they are using oh okay, basically for generators there's an inbuilt function which is the oil switch that means when the oil goes down beyond the less than what the generator will be able to use the generator goes off okay there's a sensor attached to the oil switch that helps the process Okay, for this particular generator now, the oil switch is inside this crankcase. If you look carefully, as if you know generators very well, you know the oil switch is inside the crankcase with a wire connected outside, connected to a sensor. Okay, so there will be a tweak. When your sensor is bad, you will actually think your oil is bad. Or you actually think your oil is dried up in the generator and you need to top up and when eventually when you top up it still gives the same issue so what do you do at that particular point that is where this topic or this class is headed towards okay when you have a situation like that you disconnect your oil switch from your oil sensor the oil switch comes directly from the crankcase that tells the generator there is no longer oil and that gives an information back to the sensor and eventually the gen goes off the gen acts on its own and eventually it goes off so when your oil sensor is bad it gives the same function like there's no oil so what do you do at that point you disconnect okay this is a simple method you see this wire this is a connection between the um, oil sensor and the oil switch when you connect it back it's functional when you disconnect it it's not functional so what do you do at that point in time you disconnect simple you what you disconnect it's as simple as that so therefore when you find your engine with oil in it and still give you the off sign the going off sign at regular intervals even after the gen is on then that should tell you your oil sensor is bad 
what do you do at that point in time before a technician comes in to look at your gen you disconnect when it's connected you disconnect all right that is it but i will say something before the end of this class right now before you disconnect this make sure there's oil in your generator get because if your generator goes off without oil in it that damages your engine and that is the function of it, this whole oil switch and oil sensor so make sure there's oil in it before you make an attempt to disconnect this and eventually when you disconnect this when you put your gen on you discover your gen runs and you do that only before a technician comes around are we good all right that is it from this class to meet in our next class do well to subscribe to this channel share and like this video turn on your notification bell so that when other videos are posted you are among the first to see it's goodbye from our end till meeting our next class